Hi there and welcome to the new video tutorial where I will show you the PyCharm installation. So PyCharm is the integrated development environment, the IDE from ChatBrains. And if you are planning to use it, the first thing you need to do is download and install. So where do you go for downloading it and how to install it? The different option that you can choose is something which I will show you in this video. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to uh, mention the PyCharm in your browser. So open the browser and enter PyCharm. What you will going to get is this first screen. So you have two options. Either you can click it over here or you can come over here. So for now, I'll just come to this option and it will show me the PyCharm website where I have this option, which is a download. And here in the download PyCharm option, you have three options, one for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. So for the scenario that we want is something for Windows, Windows 10. And here, uh, the first option is basically a professional edition, which is which has a limited time period and you can get a free trial. And it has the full featured, uh, full featured integrated development environment. And in the community, what you have is the uh, free and open source for pure Python development. So we'll just go ahead and download this one, right? So what you need to do is, uh, as you can see, the download has started and it is a 371 MB file, which is getting downloaded. If you want, you can specify your email and you can subscribe to tips, tricks and uh, other educational material that they want to send. So for now, I will just leave it as it is and uh, and go ahead with the download once it is downloaded. So it will take just one second. It's completely downloaded now. And after it is downloaded, what you need to do is either you can go to your download here, you have this PyCharm Community Edition, or you can simply click on this. So for now, I will just go ahead and click here, the PyCharm Community 2021.2. And what it will going to do is uh, open up the uh, a screen, the installation screen. Before that, if you are uh, if you are a user who need to authenticate the installation, then it will ask you for your password like it is asking me right now maybe you may not be able to see the password of this screen but i'm i was just entering my password just so that i can install it in my system so it's a security which is which is uh, based on the system so right now i am into the setup and if i click next make sure you know the path where the icharm is getting installed so that later if you want to go to that particular installation files, you can see. So it's under C, Program Files, Chat Prints, PyCharm Edition. Click Next. Here you have a couple of options like adding a desktop icon. So yes, I can go ahead. Update path variable uh, and a restart is needed. If you want to add uh, the Python, the add bin folder to the path, which contains the uh, path to the Python, uh, where the Python is installed. And in many cases, you may need path variable to be to have an update. So if that's the requirement, you can go ahead and check that. But for now, I'm not checking it. Uh, update context menu, add open folder as a project. I will not do that and create association with .py. That means any Python file which will be inside your system will be associated to PyCharm. Well, I will leave it as of now. I'll click next, chat trains. Uh, it is creating a shortcut in the start menu. So. For now, I'll just go ahead and uh, install. Click. You can click on Show Details, where you can see what how the installation is going on. And it will take a couple of minutes. So I'll just pause the video and come back when it is finished. All right. So it took some time, like I was saying, minute or two. So now it is finished. I will just click on Run PyCharm Community Edition and click Finish. What it will do is starting. It will start the PyCharm Edition, and here it has started. What it is asking is uh, config or installation directory or do not import settings because I had previously installed in my system. That's why it is saying. So for now, I will not going to import the same setting and I'll click OK. And now the PyCharm is getting open. As you can see, the splash screen over here and this will going to start the PyCharm. So what you have on this uh, first screen is a couple of options to create a new project, open an existing project and get it from a VCS. 
Um, you have the option to customize like what is the color theme. You have uh, four different options that you can try it with. And you have the accessibility like you want a font color of an IDE font 12 or more than 12. Adjust color for red, green, vision deficiency. In case if, if there is a sort of many people, you know, have the color blindness. So in that case, it will adjust the uh, color for red, green, vision deficiency. Then you have the key map where you can choose the different key maps like Windows, Emacs or Sublime Text. So that's something you can do the customization. Then you have some plugins like different plugins uh, that you can install if it is useful for you. If you are starting for now, I will just suggest that uh, leave it uh, leave it in a raw format. Don't install anything and install only when you have the requirement. For example, this CSV. Uh, lightweight plugin for editing CSV, TSV, PSV files. CSV is comma separated value files, very common file types which uh, we need to you know work with uh, whenever we are doing anything related to the Python or anything. Uh, we need to do an import from a CSV file that something can be useful. And learn PyCharm is this action where PyCharm has uh, uh, within the integrated development environment, they have a self-learning as a module. I highly recommend if you are starting with the PyCharm because what it introduces you to various different components of the PyCharm that you as a developer need to know. So you can start learning. It will open the PyCharm and it will open the PyCharm interface. And in the same interface, it will guide you through. It will be a guided learning. Uh, to know the various different components. So for now, what we can do is simply click on project and let's click on the new project and give the project name as test, create a new environment using virtual environment and I will keep the default setting as it is and uh, over here and click create. So test virtual environment, previously configured interpreter, no interpreter is there. All right, I will use this only, but so we have three environment, pip, NEV, ENV, Conda, because I have the Conda also installed and the virtual environment. And over here, if you see what uh, information that it is showing that environment location directory is not empty, that means the test is something which is already present. So I will give it a test one. Now that error is gone and I will click on create. So what it will do is going to create the virtual environment for that particular project and uh, it will start with a tip. So for now, I will close it. Also, if you don't want to show the tip, you can click on here and you can uh, give the instruction to PyCharm. Hey, don't show me the tips, but I think it is useful. So close it. All right. So code with me if you want to invite other developers. Uh, for now, I'll just leave it. And over here in the test one, uh, we have this environment on the right hand side. You have the environment to write the code on the left hand side you have the files related to the project you can click over here to hide this window you can again click here to show the window and if you want to create a new file we will just right click over here click on new and here we have the different options and we'll click on the python file and we will say hello world the very first program we always create and what we want is want to print hello world all right so what you do is again to run this right click anywhere here and click on run handle hello world and there is a shortcut of Control shift f10 that you can choose so when you run this what you get as an output very simple hello world so that's mainly i wanted to show you how you can download and install and open the environment create the pro first project run the hello world program and get started with your learning within the pycharm so happy development to you and uh, I will meet you in the next video. If you have any question, let me know in the comments and I will reply to that.